Hallelujah. God bless you on this triumphant, tandem out, terrific Tuesday. Uh, thank God for you. I appreciate y'all keeping me in your prayers. I have been lifting y'all up as we lean on the everlasting arms of Jesus. Amen. And I want to just prophesy right now to you in the name of Jesus. I heard the Lord say, I am mounting your comeback on the wings of eagles. He is high and lifted up. And if you lift him up, if you lift him up, the first thing you do when you get up in the morning, lift him up. The last thing you do when you lay your beautiful head on your pillow at night, lift him up. If you call on him, he will answer you and he will show you great and mighty things, things you have no idea or you can ask or think you have no imagination of what God is doing in your life. And you have to understand, down is up in the kingdom of God. The Bible says, though I be cast down, yet he will lift me up. Hallelujah. But you have to humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. And in due time, he will lift you up. But in the meantime, in the downtime, in the see nothing time, in the hurtful time, in the painful times, understand God is mounting your comeback. You're coming back bigger and better than before. Not for your glory, so he can get all the glory because all those haters, all those people that have put you down, they're shaking their head left and right and says, where's your God now? I thought you were a, a, a Christian. I thought you were going to do great and mighty things. I thought that you were anointed. I thought you were appointed. I thought you were guaranteed to be uh, 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 blessed in the city, blessed in the field, blessed when you come and blessed when you go. But look at you now. You're in a pit. All your accusers are, are using you as a byword. You've been, you've been despised and rejected. You are a man or a woman of sorrows. Even in the midst of that, God is mounting up your comeback. Hallelujah. In the midst of that, don't forget that God is not is not slack concerning his promise. He cannot deny himself, but you have to keep your faith. Believe God and it will be established. Amen. The Bible says in Isaiah 40 in the Amplified Version, verse number 28, have you not known? Have you not known? heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth does not, somebody say not, does not get weary or does he faint. He is above all things. Come on, somebody. And there is no searching of his understanding praise the lord and i'm i am encouraging you today to keep him lifted up in your heart and in your mind and in your thoughts and everything that wars against that thought you bring it down hallelujah the bible says cast down every imagination and every high thing that exhausts itself against the knowledge of who God really is and bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. The, the Lord that, that has allowed you and allowed the enemy to see you down is the same Lord that is going to raise you up Hallelujah, high above the enemy's head, and he's going to make your enemies his footstool. The Bible says, hallelujah, glory to God. But you, Israel, my servant of Jacob, who I have chosen, you are the offspring of Abraham, my friend. Come on, somebody. 
Father Abraham had many sons, and I am one of them, and so are you. So let's just praise the Lord right here, left hand. Come on, somebody. Sometimes you have to go back to the basics and just praise God in the midst of your battle because the battle is not yours. The battle belongs to the Lord. But you have to join in that battle with your praise and your worship and your surrender to him to allow him to do what he's going to do, even if it means that you have to feel ashamed. You even might even have to be in some pain. You might even have to be laid. Come on, somebody in the midst of the enemy and look like you're guilty 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 because when God does it he does it in such a fashion that even your enemies will have to say truly the Lord is with that woman truly the Lord is with that man and I'm, I'm just encouraging you right in the midst of your low times in your valley of the shadow of death the Lord hasn't forgotten you he calls you and I his friend and I want you to know God is mounting up your comeback and he's gonna mount you up on wings as eagles your labor is not in vain be strengthened in this word you know and you have heard that the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth, he doesn't faint and he doesn't get tired. And he's moving in on your behalf and he's going to make you a sign and a wonder that the Lord God reigns even in the midst of this corrupt and, and, and despicable and despising and agnostic and, 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 and perverted world. Yes. He reigns. And he's going to lift you up. If you don't faint. I'm praying for your strength right now. I'm praying in the mighty name of Jesus. That his mighty right hand. Will build you up. And he will lay his hand on you. And give you strength. Beyond your ability and he'll give you insight and wisdom beyond your wisdom and that he will give you an anointing to break every yoke and destroy every heavy burden and every train right now we loose it we bless you in Jesus name and we thank you God right now that you're sending your word to deliver and heal May was the month of miracles but June is the month of salvation and deliverance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So call on the one that paid it all. Jesus. Jesus paid it all. There's no other name given unto men. Under heaven whereby men must be saved. But by the name of Jesus Christ. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. That Jesus Christ is Lord. Let me pray for you. Leave a comment. And if this blesses you, please share it. Keep me in prayer. I can't wait to share what God has done in these last, this last season in the valley. Praise God. I love you guys. Praying for you. I thank God for everything that he has given me an opportunity to share. And I'm humbled that he's given me an opportunity to share it with you. I love you so much. I, I, I miss you. I wish we could all join hands right now and just celebrate the love of God together and lift up our family and friends together as touching. But as we do it in the spirit, let it be done in the natural. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. You want to say something to him? God bless y'all.
I'm going to keep y'all. And God, in Jesus' name, just bless y'all and keep it in his sight and in Jesus' name. In Jesus' holy name. Amen. Amen.